Hello friends and welcome to yet another video on Tutorials Point with me Racha. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic which is known as social media. Whether it's a boon or a curse. Well today friends social media has taken the world by a craze. Everyone is on social media right from small children to teenagers, adults and even senior citizens for that matter. Everyone is hooked on to social media and in fact people prefer social media over face-to-face -face conversations and discussions. Let's take a look at how this particular topic is important as a part of our day-to-day -day living nowadays. Let's take a look at the agenda. What we're going to talk about is what exactly is social media. We will also talk about the different types of social media, today's world and competitive environment that we are living in. There are different types of social medias. We'll also talk about the advantages and disadvantages of social media for students and teenagers. Also the advantages and disadvantages for business owners. And also, how is really social media contributing to the society? And last but not the least, we will take a look at what is the final message. Is social media a boom or is it a curse? Well friends, let's take a look at what exactly is social media. Well, all of you who are listening to this particular video might already be knowing about what is social media. Well, just to take a look at it, social media is that one common place where all the others online communication channels are found. Social media is only online and not offline. These are used to interact, to share, to participate, to share your views and opinions on with other people in different different application forms and different forums basically. You can even have websites or web series for that. These applications save people a lot of time and also very less efforts are required in order to connect with people all over the world literally. Now friends, let's take a look at what are the different types of social media. Well, the first one is we have different platforms like Facebook, Twitter, as well as LinkedIn. Now these particular social medias are definitely good to connect with your family, your friends, as well as your like-minded connection people. You also have the ability to exchange fresh ideas on these particular platforms. It's relevant for everything basically like content sharing, you can also upload pictures, your videos, you can also share your thoughts and opinions on certain things and you can also keep updating your status about it. Engage with potential clients or like-minded people as I mentioned before. So that's a particular uh, social media site which is your Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Let's take a look at other social media platforms. We also have platforms like Instagram, Snapchat as well as YouTube. Well, these particular social media types are helping in deep generation and also promoting your particular brand image and awareness etc. You also are able to share the media online. You know, you can share your photos, your videos on YouTube. Also connect with people on Instagram, share your um, you know, different thoughts and opinions about things. The other discussion forums on social media are Reddit, Quora as well as Dig. These are forums wherein you can actually express you know, your thoughts and your views. And also these are excellent source for market research. You can also uh, you know, um, express yourself anonymously. You don't have to really show your identity etc. You can also be anonymous at the same time share your thoughts and your views. You also get to know what people are talking about, what are the in current affairs or current things that people are really harping about. You get, you get to know all of these and much more. You also get a lot of honest reviews on these particular discussion forums. Now let's take a look at certain social review sites like Yelp, Zomato as well as TripAdvisor. These are helping people all over the world to understand, you know, different kind of reviews that people are posting about them. You help in, you know, it helps you in finding or reviewing any particular brand or any particular product of your choice. Positive review helps in gaining social proof because if, for example, some particular brand has got good reviews on a Zomato or a TripAdvisor, it definitely helps the other people who are wanting to book that particular you know, product or service take a more, you know, a, a better advantage of it because people have posted honest reviews about them. So today's social media is all about 
how others feel about a particular product and service, you're likely to purchase that product or services based on other people's reviews. Also, you can always solve the queries of unhappy customers online. If somebody is not happy with your product or service, you can definitely help to solve that and resolve it online itself. Now, we also have under social media types, we have like video hosting sites like YouTube as well as Vimeo. Well, these are um, certain types of social media wherein you can actually post a lot of uh, videos for yourself. And also you can make your own channels and ask people to subscribe to these channels. It helps you to spread your brand awareness. If you are really wanting to reach out to maximum number of people in the globe today, well, YouTube and Vimeo are good places wherein you can try posting your videos and uh, your content out there for in order to people to really review it and also create the kind of uh, hype in your awareness of brand. Helps you to share content as per the demand of the target audience. Uh, so you know exactly which is your target audience you want to reach out to for these particular brands. Engage with the audience easily by writing your reviews, reading their comments, giving them feedback, etc. Well, we have certain shopping and economy sites like uh, Mintra, which helps you to do a lot of shopping, Amazon, Flipkart, Uber, as well as Airbnb. Again, these are... Uh, places where you can put your products and services and people actually buy them and also of course it helps if you have good reviews from other people make sure nothing negative on your site of Mintra or Amazon or Flipkart etc because that can really help people to not purchase even if there are few negative comments people would not like to purchase from that particular uh, you know um, website and stuff like that so please make sure that you are advertising and making sure that you share your brand and your products Make sure that you are selling and trading your products and services. Also make sure that you are able to spot what are the current trends going on and buy accordingly. Well friends, now we are look, going to look at what is the social media presence and what it talks about to the students as well as teenagers. We look at certain advantages and certain disadvantages of the same. Talking about first the advantages of social media and the effect of it on teenagers. It helps the students to connect with like-minded people on the social media platforms. It also helps you to share information with each other which makes the work very easy for everyone. It helps in the social media marketing. Well, it also helps being up to date with the latest trends, the latest products in the market, etc. For expressing without any suppression, today's students are full of opinions and they want their opinions to be heard. These particular social media sites help you to express yourself openly without really suppressing things in your heart. Now let's take a look at certain disadvantages of social media presence on these teenagers and students. People actually lack emotional connection uh, because all the time you are glued onto social media platforms. People actually prefer to have virtual relationships rather than having face-to-face -face conversations with people. People prefer to chat with someone rather than pick up a phone and call someone over. Well, it uh, definitely creates a lot of misunderstandings because uh, it's, everything is virtual and not face-to-face. It also affects your health and primarily your eyesight because you are glued on to your tabs, your phone, laptop, computers, etc. while you're accessing social media. So hence your eyesight also really gets affected because of that. Threat to the moral values and an easy road to crime. A lot of people are taking to crime because of social media hype nowadays. Now let's take a look at uh, the social media presence for the business owners. Well, certain advantages for them is it helps to increase your brand awareness, whatever you are selling, your products or, bus uh, or the kind of services you are selling. It establishes your, your brand as a human leader. It also helps to generate the leads and increase the awareness on your website. You get a lot of clicks and a lot of, um, you know, different leads generation, which helps to increase traffic to your website. And also it helps you to partner with the right kind of influential kind of, you know, crowd. So that really makes a lot of difference in terms of advantages for your business, uh, whether it's a product or a service that you're selling. Now let's take a look at certain disadvantages of social media for business owners. It also needs to have a lot of active supervision. 
It needs additional source to manage the content on the online platforms. As mentioned some time back, you need to be consistently posting and not be inconsistent about it. Risk of unwanted behavior on your site can again be a disadvantage. Works only when you have a well thought of marketing strategy. It's important to have a good marketing strategy in place if you really want social media to have a you know, good effect on your particular business that you're doing. Well, now we are to, you know, going to talk about social media's contribution to society. Well, social media has a massive global presence and how it can really help the society. Here is it. A safety system that helps and supports people during crisis. It could be tornadoes or earthquakes. So that really helps reaching out to many, many people at the same time. It helps in solving a lot of crime, a form of political influence. Stay connected irrespective of the distance. You can connect with people um, living in any part of the world or the country and it's just a click away to connect with them. Effective brand engagement through social media platforms. It also helps you to make your awareness in the society and talk about the current affairs and what's really happening all over the world and reaching out to maximum people in the society through social media. So it definitely has a lot of you know, advantages over there. Well, lastly, what's, let's understand the final message whether social media is a boom or whether it's a curse. Well, there are different points of view. I'd like to highlight two of them over here for you. Social media is a platform where people can definitely express themselves openly without you know, giving out their names and they can yet be anonymous about it. And it's always uh, good to, you can also make a lot of negative remarks about certain products and services and you don't have to hold on to or suppress those thoughts about them. The next thing is people have lost the emotional touch of really connecting with people uh, face to face and heart to heart. And that's something which is definitely a curse of social uh, media because you are really not able to connect with people and have that kind of healthy conversations with people you rather prefer having virtual conversations instead of face-to-face -face emotional connect with people so well social media is both a boom as well as a curse it all depends on how you would take it well friends that brings us to the end of this particular module on social media whether it's a boom or a curse i do hope you have enjoyed listening to this particular video keep watching more videos coming your way till then thank you